All right, so in this box here, I have the Talent Cell battery pack that is uh, pretty much recommended for uh, CCD TVs and cameras and whatnot, but I bought this specifically for the Next Star Series Celestron telescope. So this here is the box that uh, the battery pack came in, and I've already done a um, video which will be at the near the end of this video here. So I'm gonna take this out. I've already used it a little bit, um, and it's gonna be a long video, by the way. Uh, so this here is um, the battery pack here. This is the battery pack. This is what it looks like, okay? Um, this here is the back side of the battery pack here. Hopefully my focus will show up on there real quick. So this is a power bank. Uh, hopefully you can pause the video at any time and read that if you want there. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the screen now. So if you wanna rewind and pause and, and read all that on there, you can. Okay, so I use this battery pack uh, for roughly, mm, I'm gonna say about uh, five hours or so, and um, it, it held charge. Uh, I only lost one cell on the battery in about five hours. Uh, this here is the cable itself. Um, you have the ability to charge this uh, battery while you have it uh, uh, running. So right there, you can plug in uh, your D your AC adapter to uh, this plug here and run it into an outlet on your wall. Uh, then you have two of these plugs here, which can power your device here. So this here is the two plugs. Uh, either one of these can be plugged into a Nexstar 5SE telescope is what uh, I'm using this with. So this here is the plug here. Uh, these plug into the, uh, one of these can plug into, as you say, the actual uh, uh, power port on the uh, telescope. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to switch you guys over to me uh, using this battery pack real quick. And uh, this here is, real quick before I do, here's the manual here. Hopefully my focus will come in on that. I don't know if my focus is going to come in or not. Probably not going to waste my time trying to do that. Um, I'll try to get the backside real quick and see if we can get that into focus or not. So I hope you can see that. It's got uh, one light indicates 25% battery life. Two LEDs represents 50%. Three lights represents uh, 75%. And four LEDs represents 100% battery. Um, you'll obviously want to put it in the eye position when you're charging and uh, turn in the O position when you're um, not using it. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to my cell phone. I'm recording this with my cell phone that you're gonna see next. I'm um, outside, uh, basically setting it up on the uh, telescope, and then we're going to uh, come back a few hours after that, and uh, yeah. So hopefully this will give you an ideal. I wanted to mention that uh, I ran this for like I said, five hours, and I'm going to show you proof here in just a few. So, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, it's 6.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, going to hook up the battery pack here, turning the battery pack on. And LED is on, so we're going to plug this into... If we can find the lead, there it is, up there at the top. So, 6.50 p.m. is when it was plugged in and I'm going to turn it on all right so it appears that it does kind of give power there we got a little glare I think then the focus all right so 650 650 is the time that it was plugged in and uh, now I'm going to do my uh, uh, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to move the telescope up, so, and wait for it to get, wait for it to get dark, because we still have a little bit of daylight left there. As you can see, it's not quite dark yet, so I'm going to let it run uh, here in Florida. You can still see it's kind of daylight out, so I've got a few hours before it gets dark. I'll see if I can get a three-hour run out of this battery, let you guys know. Alrighty, 
So let's see. I don't think you guys can see that too well. But it's still got four cells left. Um, and the current time here is 9.39, March 15th. Well, it's 9.40 now. Uh, 9.40 right now. And uh, that battery is still holding a charge for the um, Nexstar SE, or Nexstar 5 SE. So, I've been using, uh, haven't been using it much, I just let it run. Um, it's currently tracking um, the Orion Nebula right now. I was curious to see how long it'll take for this battery to, to discharge um, from one cell, but it's been going for about two and a half hours, we could say, on a uh, full charge. And um, as you can see there, it's plugged into the outlet there on the uh, on the uh, 5SE. So, so far it's holding a charge. Um, granted, I'm not doing a whole bunch of tracking with it, or a whole bunch of uh, star hopping with it. I've, I've looked at, um, I did my two star alignment, um, and uh, let's see, I looked at, um, trying to figure out what I looked at. Oh yeah, we looked at the Beehive Cluster first. Uh, for probably, I had it tracking the Beehive Cluster for maybe uh, 15 minutes, and then um, then I went to the Pleiades, um, and left it on the Pleiades for maybe 15 minutes, and then I went to uh, the Orion Nebula, where it's currently where it's currently at right now. Is that the Orion Nebula? And uh, so it's it's been it's been going for roughly almost uh, almost three hours now, I guess you could say, um, and it seems to be holding a charge just fine. Uh, those are that right there. Where my fingers pointing is the red LED, and these are the four uh, green LEDs that are going towards the uh, left. This is I know it looks weird, but this is the left here where my finger is, and the right side is uh, where my other, where my finger is now. So hopefully that makes some sense to you guys. So far, I would I would say it's uh, it's holding a charge. Um, the next time I take it out, I'll uh, I'll do a lot more um, with it. Uh, but right now, I'm just letting it letting it see how long it'll run. Um, just having it track a random object in the sky. All right, so it's uh, a little after ten. And one of the cells on the battery, which would be the left cell on the left side, a uh, left side of the power jack, is slowly dying. It's slowly going out. Right there is where one of the LEDs where my finger is. So now we have three green LEDs on. And this has been going since, uh, it's been powering since um, 6.50 p.m on the 15th of March, so don't know if I'm gonna fully kill the battery or not, or fully drain the battery or not, but uh, I figured I'd do an update that um, it's currently after 10 right now, and uh, this is where the battery's at now. Alright, so it is uh, 11.07ish uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, so far I've been trying to keep track of this battery, uh, to see how, how long it was going to take for it to drain it. Um, so again, it's, it's a little after 11. Uh, Jupiter has just rose towards the, uh, the, um, southeast sky, and uh, over the trees where I can't see. Uh, this here is the, uh, Celestron... 5SE or next star 5SE is what this is. I wanted you guys to be able to see uh, the telescope that I was using, and uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can <laughs> I find the other the other side of uh, the telescope. So as you can see, there you go. Hopefully, you can see the dovetail there. It's the Celestron next star 5SE, and um, I've been using this battery pack um, since 6:50 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's now going on 11, 
11, uh, a little going on 11.20 or 11.15, I should say. We'll just say 11, 11.10-ish or so. I know I said 11.06, 11.06, but uh, we'll just go ahead and speed up time a little bit. <laughs> so, roughly it's about uh, 11.07 or 11.08 right now. Uh, the battery is still holding a charge. Um, I used it a little bit uh, to, to search for a few things. A few things that I want to mention that I was looking at on this video, or before the video started, um, is I looked at um, M48. Um, I looked at the Beehive cluster earlier. Um, I looked at uh, M46. And currently, uh, see if I, can, if I can get the controller up here real quick to see what we're looking at right now. Uh, right now, I'm looking at M47 right now. Ooh, M47, which um, is a is a nice uh, object to look at for this. Uh, the eyepiece that I'm using uh, for this telescope is um, a 40 millimeter Cyrus Plossel. So this here, which I'll see if I can get focus to come up real quick. So there it is. It's a Cyrus Plossel. Uh, if I can find the 40 on here somewhere. <laughs> Trying to get the 40 on here. Uh, it looks like the 40 is going to be on the other side. Where I can't get to it. Uh, let's see if I can go around here real quick. Um, so there you go. You can kind of see 40 millimeter Plossel. It's a wide, a wide eyepiece there. A little dirty, it's my Astronomy Club president. I'm trying to win one right now off of eBay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but this here is the, the uh, Celestron uh, Nexstar 5SE. And uh, I'm currently facing that way there, which you can't see <laughs> where the uh, M47 is. Anyways, the whole point of this video was to uh, talk about this battery pack. Um, so I did do a little bit of a little bit of slowing around uh, to try to drain the battery a little bit more. Um, it's only down to one one LED, or it's only dropped one LED uh, since 6:50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll come back before I uh, stop for the day. Waiting for the moon to rise right now, and then I'm gonna call it a day. All right, so it is uh, 12 24 in the morning <laughs> on uh, March 16th, 2017, and uh, the battery surprisingly has held up uh, for roughly five hours. Um, I am on still on a uh, four cell or three cells left on this battery pack. I'm gonna move the chair out of the way real quick. Um, so I believe I'm at yes, I'm at three cells on the battery. Uh, the first cell went out. Uh, I believe around uh, nine or ten o'clock um, after I had uh, had it on from 6:50 p.m. Um, and so far, it looks like the battery has uh, managed to keep uh, a charge for, I'm going to assume, about five hours now. Um, I haven't been using it real heavy. Um, I looked at uh, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that I looked at, I put in the uh, description for you guys to, uh, to know what I was looking at. Um, so I slew, I used... I used that um, to slew to, um, and uh, those were some of the objects that I slew to and looked at. And uh, I did let it sit and track for a little bit, by the way. Um, didn't use it too heavy, like I was saying. Um, I just let it let it slew out to a few things and then looked at them and moved on to some other things to look at and then let it slew and then went back inside for a little bit. Uh, one thing that I do want to mention is temperature wise. Um, temperature could play a key factor and the reason why this battery is lasting so long. Um, I would assume since it's cold out um, it's roughly I'm gonna assume um, in the 50s right now temperature wise. 
Uh, so with that being said, it's a little bit colder, so the battery's not draining as fast, um, which is my assumption is that it's not draining that fast because it's cold out. Um, but I've always assumed that batteries will drain faster when it's cold. Uh, but it appears that uh, it, it's, it, it's appearing to uh, stay at three cells. Um, it's been at three cells for, I'm going to assume, um, maybe two hours now. It's been on, two, it's been on these three cells. Um, and it probably took maybe two hours or something like that for the first cell to drain. Uh, but it's, it's, it still appears to be holding a charge. And I'm about ready to be calling it a night here, uh, shortly. So I'll do a follow-up video. Um, as soon as I get ready to pack it in, uh, letting you know uh, the outcome, uh, if the battery's still holding, it'll probably still be holding a charge. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's I will follow up with you guys in just a bit. All right, so it is 12:39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and this here is the um, final video on this battery pack. Um, so I used this battery pack at 6.50 uh, p.m. on March 15th, 2017, and it is now roughly um, 12.39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I am down to three cells left on this battery, as I'm about ready to call it a night. Um, so in the description are some of the objects that I got to look at with this battery pack and telescope um, on a single charge. Um, and uh, I will do a follow-up video um, uh, talking about this telescope as far as some of the objects that I got to see um, with it. But uh, this video is about the battery pack so far. Um, this battery pack, I think, is f at least this battery. I, I know there's a lot of you guys that make it. A bad battery um, but personally with this battery being as small as it is and the fact that it sits on the tripod itself and the cables are not you know incredibly all over the place getting wrapped around the tripod leg and all that stuff um, I think this battery is pretty good uh, I would definitely recommend <laughs> this battery um, to a lot of you guys who have a uh, Especially the Slush Run Next Star 5SE, at least. I'm not too sure about the the 8SE or the 6SE, uh, but with the 5SE, this battery pack lasted me pretty much uh, five hours.